Okay, gonna try this again. Just played against this opponent and they scooped early. Niv Mizit Perun versus Queen Marchesa. We don't have a keepable hand, so a mulligan is our only option there. And this is the mox, the way we exile something. Yeah, I think we keep that and exile the Ether Sprouts. Sprouts? Ether Spouts. <laughs> Ether Spouts is a completely different card than Ether Sprouts, and that is pretty good on top. We can get into that on turn two. And good to hold up Lightning Bolt as well. Yeah, I'll keep on to I'll keep hold of the uh Chrome Mox for now, just in case they have a a turn one Vandal Blast or something like that. I do want to get the Search for Ascanter out. Okay, so that is Chrome Mox. And we'll get rid of the Ether Spouts. And then we can go into Search for Ascanter and hopefully get into a land next turn so that we can go for Chandra Torch of Defiance. And then we'll have all the red mana we need. And we just really need to get into a couple of islands. So let's see if we can grab an island here. Oh. Clearly I didn't see the, the window pop up there because it was down there. I thought I was saying yes to actually using the ability there. Oh well. We at least drew into a land which is really good so it's actually a happy accident for us we'll just uh, plus Chandra with the mana I don't want to exile something that we might actually want to draw into off the top uh, an island would be our best bet because that means that we can get into an Mizit Perun and hopefully keep it around long enough to actually get some effects off with it Good thing about being up against Queen Marchesa is that with lots of spot removal being instants and sorceries. Ooh, Ponder. No, I don't want to put Ponder in the graveyard. Yeah, with lots of instants and sorceries that Queen Marchesa probably has, we will be drawing a lot of cards with Niv Mizzet. So let's go for... Yeah, we need to play a land here. So we will have to shuffle those things away. Or I wouldn't mind getting into Fabricate, actually. We can do that with this. Oh, that's into the Royal. I obviously put the wrong thing on top. Hmm. I've done that wrong as well. All right, well, in that case, we'll just have to bounce it for the two mana and not draw a card. Uh, I will do the Flooded Strand on our next turn and then we can draw into the fabricate in case we need to get into some more mana okay going for when it enters the battlefield destroy a target land okay definitely glad that we're getting into the fabricate then and they're going for the land destruction plan because it has haste, I don't want them dealing with Chandra. And that is one, two, three, four mana that we have now. Yeah, we're going to draw into Fabricate. Because I want to guarantee that we actually are able to cast our commander. Might actually just get into Vidalcan Shackles. Although we won't be able to take Queen Marchesa, unfortunately, because we don't have a lot in the ways of lands. Or islands, specifically. We'll go for Coalition Relic, then I think. Or Chromatic Lantern will be good. Yeah, we'll go for Chromatic Lantern. And then we can get our volcanic island from this add two mana with Chandra 
Now we have emptied our hand. I imagine they go, if they get into white mana, they can get into Queen Marchesa. And, oh, they go for a braid. So we've got all the answers for us. Luckily they don't have white yet. And they go back into Phyrexian Arena. So we really need a blue source here. A braid can go in the graveyard because it won't deal with Phyrexian Arena. And that actually flips into a blue land, so we'll do that. And we do draw into another blue land as well. And what's this emblem? Uh, we get an emblem. Whenever we cast a spell, this emblem deals 5 damage to any target. Well, I think we can go for that. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 mana for niv -Mizzet. That is blue, blue, and blue, red, red, and red, and then Chandra's emblem will deal 5 damage to our opponent. Now they may well have spot removal for niv -Mizzet, but it's likely that it's an instant or sorcery, which means that we can draw a card when they cast it. And they've got into white mana, but it is a tap land, so no Queen Marchesa yet. And they get into their own Chandra. They can only deal 4 damage to a creature. Luckily our niv is a 5-5. Five, five. They exile Boros Garrison, so that's us being dealt 2 damage. And we can deal 1 damage to... Actually, we should have. if we're going to swing in at Chandra, we should have just dealt that to our opponent. That's a mistake on my part. Let's just swing in at Chandra here. And then when we cast the Torrential Gear Hulk... Well, we can either hold up the Torrential Gear Hulk or do something with Ascanta. Look at the top four cards of our library, reveal a non-creature on land and put it into our hand. Or we can deal 5 damage to our opponent, cast the Torrential Gear Hulk and get something out of our graveyard, like an Abraid into the Royal Ponder. Uh, okay, well we'll draw a card. And that is the Fire Diamond. In that case we might as well just Torrential Gear Hulk. Okay, going for Utter End. We draw into another source of mana. Doing a lot of damage on our opponent here. Yeah, and we, we were piling up the damage there. That was 5, 6, 7 damage to our opponent. That would have put them down to... Oh, that's uh, strange maths. That is uh, 16, is it? 16, 17, 18, 9, 20, 20, 23. Yeah, that's 16. And then we could cast a couple of spells. or a, a, Well, we would have cast another spell off the Torrential Gear Hulk. That would have got them down to 11. Swing in next turn with niv -Mizzet. Would have got them down to 6. So, yeah, I think we, we were comfortably going to win that. Plus the damage being dealt to them with Phyrexian Arena. So... Yeah, I think a comfortable win for us there. The Torrential Gear Hulk would have gone for... Uh, what would it have gone for? Probably would have gone for an Into the Royal on the Phyrexian Arena. Just so they were getting less cards. They started to burn through their cards a little bit there and only had three left. So yeah, pretty good showing for niv -Mizzet Perun. Wasn't a particularly flashy game, but... Got to um, get off the Chandra Torch of Defiance emblem, which I've never done before, so... That's a first for the channel, and a first for me personally. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that Nimizit Perun deck, and I will see you all in the next one. I'm Tribal Kai on the EDH channel. Thank you for watching.